Hey everyone. Okay, I am going to play Project Stray all the way up to the first battle sequence, and I'll be giving commentary as I play. Um, I got the battle sequence in place, where there is in fact actually a, uh, a boss fight. Not not a true boss fight, just a you know a tougher enemy that'll end up being like a regular enemy later on, but um. These are all the staged stages of the battle, and I like set this whole entire system all up. And on top of the uh, on top the on top of the cube is the reward loot bubble that you get like uh, special loot that is pretty cool. And also when you do a pro uh, there's a progress tag uh, feature that I can place on any of these uh, nodes and uh, battle one complete progress tag uh, the doors now re react to progress tags so uh, this door does not open until you uh, do this fight at least once and that's basically what happens so I actually have that in place and um, none of the gameplay is set up in this area yet uh, although I already have a pretty good idea of what I want to do. But there's a lot of other things that need to still go on. Uh, one of the things I really like about this, though, is that it's in a pretty fair, uh, it's, a, it's very representative of, of what I would like to see the final product actually be. So, and that, and that makes me happy. Like, th this is truly a cool thing. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to get started. So of course you first start off on the first home point and don't really have any items, have absolutely nothing. I kind of rearranged things a little bit. I'm trying to figure out a way to make this a little easier to read, but oh well, it's still not quite what I want. And you can just loot everything, equip pistol, I have 57 pistol bullets. Um, Pop an enduring potion, which would probably make sense for me to do early on. Since the first couple of minutes are going to be the hardest for a little while, anyway. Uh, some ammo sitting over here on that one corner. Actually, very important. Not just some random thing. Um, there, there needs to be replenishers. Oh wow, <laughs> these guys took a lot of. There needs to be like rep uh, ammo replenishment. When the player dies, you never recover ammo, so there has to be ways for the player to recover. I adjusted the uh, pistols so that it its rate of fire is a little higher, feels a little bit better. Um, really feel like sound. There's two things that I could really do with this project. I can add sound, and I can uh, I can add effects explosions and, and stuff like that. I think that would actually help a lot. Fucking hell yeah. I got a submachine gun and an auto pistol. Oh wait, no, it's just a regular pistol. Okay, I got a submachine gun. Rip my pistol ammo, though. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to use that. Um, and there's, uh, there's actually two different ways that you can go. I, I can go the upper route or I can go the bottom route. I'm going to go the bottom route for now. Uh, the upper route does kind of reward you with better stuff earlier on, but since I just got a submachine gun, um, I'm kind of thinking I want to be a little bit more conservative. Alright, so I have a magnum, but I don't have very many rounds for the magnum. Magnum two shot that guy. Magnum gets more accurate when you ADS aim down sight. Um, I think like the Magnum would actually kind of have a scope. I'm thinking kind of like the uh, Half Life Magnum. Uh, movement speed has been adjusted, so this is the 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 movement is a lot more doomy. I think. Um, level 2 yet.
<laughs> oh man. So I adjusted the leveling. Uh, I think I actually have a number that I'm a lot more happy with. Um, enemies one level below you will give half experience points. Enemies two levels below will give no ex experience points. So you really want to pay attention to the levels of the enemies. So I have a level one pistol. Man, a level two pistol. Now, when you can upgrade your weapons to higher level, that's really significant boost in damage. So, like, that is actually I'm I'm not even gonna bother with the magnum. I just uh, dismantled it. Crafting materials. Now I don't have crafting implemented yet, but I'm playing the game as though crafting is going to you know is already in because I want the crafting to be an integral part of kind of keeping keeping you thinking about like oh okay well if I go back to home point right now I can probably use these metal scraps and and and, and shit like that to get uh to craft a new weapon I I redid the entire like I did all I redid all the loot Uh, level 3 worn legs. Level 2 pistol. Not quite level 2 yet. See, this is exactly what I want. This is, I want to see people doing this. It, I, I'm able to get myself to do it, but if I can get other people to kind of be like, okay, alright, I'm going to hold on to this. I, you know, to be kind of like making these decisions and then trudging into the next area and killing a bunch of stuff and then doing the same. That's exactly the kind of experience that I'm looking to give people uh, who play. And also to kind of like seeing loot in weird spots. Um, and, you know, kind of like trying to jump up and find things. And be like, okay, well, I'm not going to use this. See, so these things now are, it's an item used to craft an auto shotgun. This is an item used to craft knuckles. Never going to do that. An item used to craft a machete. That could probably be good, but it's only level one. Um, so basically, you have these like host items that you get that you can decide to sink resources in. Uh, which these these are up here are the crafting ingredients. And when you go up to the crafting. Uh, uh, thing in the hub area that doesn't exist yet what you would do is you would decide like which items you want to uh, dismantle and which items you want to actually transform into a something um, you can actually use now the, th the thing to keep in mind about this though is that the uh, there's higher tier items that you really can only get if you craft them so there's a lot of stuff that I'm getting right now is just like, you know, regular armor pieces and stuff that I can craft. But there are higher tier things that you actually need to cl collect uh, the ingredients for. That's the, the goal. So if you want that berserker body armor piece that increases your attack power, you'll have to get um, a berserker gem and fuse that with a regular body armor piece and... There's a few different ways you can go about getting those kinds of things. Ah, oh, so those guys dropped the rockets. I was trying to figure that out. There's a rare chance in this currently right now that uh, you might get a rocket launcher if you if you do the uh, final boss fight area. Alright, so the submachine gun just is going to soak up all my fucking pistol ammo. Damn it. I just used up all my bullets. <laughs> Why did I do that for? <laughs> oh, well, these are slightly better than what I got. Oh, I'm still not level 2 yet. I'm in bad need of another gun. I can I can imagine that there's going to be po uh, points in time where there's this kind of 
you kind of just kind of get a bad start um, and you can't quite deal with the enemies um, maybe I can finish this guy off melee him to <laughs> oh fuck I got killed somebody killed me from behind okay uh, not quite left level two yet. I think it was probably a mistake for me to destroy that. Uh, uh, to destroy that magnum. Kind of did that to myself, didn't I? All right. Well. Alright, some pistol ammo. Alright, I got a regular pistol. Ammo conservation is a thing, uh, although once things start moving, once you get a couple more guns, you'll notice that ammo starts to become fairly plentiful, and that is when you'll have to start paying attention to uh, okay, cool, I leveled up, finally, got a level 2 pistol, level 2 knuckles, uh, dismantle both of those, because I'll never, you have to watch your storage capacity, your carry weight, um, when it goes over 2,000, it'll start slowing down your movement speed, and if it gets to 4,000, then your movement speed will be, your walk speed will be zero, um, let's see, so, I mean, it can go over a little bit, and it might not make that much of a difference. Uh, Alright, I got a pair of gloves. I'm only level 2, though. I want to hold on to these leggings. That'd be pretty decent. Gotta get more ammo. Damaged pistol. <laughs> I can craft another pistol. Now it might seem a little strange to like, oh wow, I can craft another pistol. I, I might add elements where like even though the item that you, you know, the, the host item is level 1, like you can do certain things to like boost it up to a higher level or something like that. Like there, sh there should still be value in like getting an item that, and getting a host item that is a higher level. Whoa, whoa. Melee. That's the only, that's one of the main drawbacks I'm finding when it comes to weapons with really high rates of fire. Is that uh yeah, just good luck on ammo when it comes to those. Like I probably should not have tried to use the submachine gun so early. So let's see, damaged gloves. Getting a lot of dismantle items. Alright. Reinforced helmet is level 6, though. Jeez. Probably never going to get to that. Level 2 helmet. Alright, so I'm getting geared up. Getting attacked while I'm fucking trying to think about gear. <laughs> um, now, if you hang out in an area that's kind of low level for too long, what you might end up having is a uh, slower leveling. Whoa. Um, I'm not really sure what to do about this kind of stuff. <laughs> I guess it's just something the player can do. Ah, you like threw me. That was weird. Okay, I got a shotgun. Alright. <clears throat> there goes my ammo problems for a little while. Okay. I fear a little bit that I made this too easy now, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I think that it should be about this difficulty when you start out, right? Like, it makes more sense to to kind of keep it real and, 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 and keep it about this level. It's really not, nothing super crazy. I do, I do, uh, 
believe in kind of having you go back to an areas that you already you already played before and you know grind up maybe find like items and and gear and stuff like that that you might have missed the first time through uh combat knife is better knuckles are kind of a shitty weapon they're not supposed to be very good so i i actually do envision like uh by design you revisiting places just to kind of like get some ex experience points and you know you never know you might you might get you might get kind of a rare drop or something on a lot of these uh loot bubbles do have uh things that you can get that are pretty nice pretty nice um <laughs> damn it i nearly died because of that I'm gonna save this stone kip po stone skin potion for the for the big fight. Level four boots. Hmm. Huh. Oh god, damn it! <laughs> I might have to add something in the AI where the where he if he's using a grenade launcher to like aim up more. Uh, okay. Still level two right now. Uh, yeah, just the same stats. Man, those boots would be pretty nice. You get a lot more armor that way. Hmm. Level three helmet. Level three. And kind of. See, I, I put a, a bubble here. You can see it above the boxes, but there's a shotgun guy here. And so somebody might, I might actually catch a few players that way. Like, uh, it's like, oh, all right, I'm just going to go for that and shotgun guy in the face. Damage sniper, sniper rifle. See, now uh, at this point in time, you're like, you're probably going to be like, okay, I'm trying to get better, better stuff. And I, I, like, once I can, once I successfully get a player onto the treadmill, um, it it should feel pretty good because it's good. It's it's designed specifically to be like a constant gain, right? Like, well, I actually got a sniper rifle, but it's only level one. What do I want to do with that? Uh, well, it's probably better than the submachine gun. I don't have enough pistol ammo anyway. Uh, so I got. Reinforced gem. Reinforced gem came from reinforced armor. Uh, when when I dismantle that, there's like no music or anything. <laughs> I should probably just fucking add sound. So uh, much like, uh, oh, ah, fuck! I might have found a bug with the uh, sniper rifle. Oh, that sucks. Uh, the sniper rifle is supposed to work like the uh, um, the Magnum, where it gets much more accurate when you're zoomed in. Uh, does not appear to be the case. Oh wait, for some reason it doesn't work unless you have ammo in the magazine. I did not make that. I did. I didn't do that. It has a mind of its own. All right, um, not super great weapon when you want to fight enemies up close, but uh, it is quite good for headshotting the fools. There's no headshots in this game. I could probably go back on that. The only thing is, is that I explained the uh, the headshot thing in the, in the, one of the earlier videos where. Um, I want the combat to be a little bit more about your positioning and I don't know. I I just don't see like when I play Brutal Doom because that's really a a really huge um, inspiration. Uh, Brutal Doom for this, and I just can't I can't bring myself to think that the headshot aspect is actually making the game any better. I'd rather. 
I'd rather just shoot stuff. Alright, so I got all this. Got the shotgun. 161. Alright, so I made it to the second home point. Ooh, level 2 reinforced body armor. And enduring gem. A light machine gun. Okay, the light machine gun... Hmm. Light machine gun is a very nice weapon to have. Uh, light machine gun, a heavy weapon that becomes more accurate with extended fire. Uh, super high rate of fire and fast reload time. Probably a little too much. I gotta like nerf it. Um, uh, compared to what I got, is just a standard pistol. How much ammo do I have for? Sniper ammo is what the Magnum and the sniper rifle use. Okay, I just home. I just home pointed. Now, if this was like the the actual game, I probably would have. I would have gone back to my home point and like maybe like uh, I would have gone back to the like the hub area, chilled out with the NPCs for a minute, just like looking things over, uh, you know, that sort of flow. So I'm level three now. Uh, how much better is this helmet? It's currently equipped. A pretty big difference. Worn leg armor. Oh, nice. Reinforced body armor. Fucking hell. You'll notice though when I equip the reinforced body armor, it decreases my movement speed by about ten. So you'll see ten percent. So it's uh, seven fifty-five. I don't know. Uh, a lot of the numbers are a little bit wonky. I'm not sure if that's actually ten percent of. Uh, if forty-five is ten percent of eight hundred. Um, for some reason it just sounds off. However, I've got a lot more, I have a lot more armor, and I have a heck of a lot more defense. Alright. I have this, a stone skin, a stone skin potion, a light machine gun. I'm going to use a sniper rifle for this first part. So... <laughs> 387. Bam! Oh, this part's so much easier with a sniper rifle. Fuck. Gotta reload. Fuck, I'm still getting hit. Oh, this is kind of annoying. I'm going to go with the light machine gun. Reload. Probably should just use the shotgun for this. The light machine gun is going to be a big part of how I finish this part. because. So, one of the things about the uh, battle sequence, Jesus, just got unlucky with pain chance, is um, if you leave the area when the battle commences, which means just going out to right here. I have to have some kind of a marker or indicator like when you leave the battle area. There has to be some kind of graphic that indicates it because I know a lot of people during this uh, during this kind of sequence, what they're gonna do is they're gonna like try to run all the way back and then they're gonna cancel the fight. Um, you really have to stay in this area for this fight. You, you can't go too far from the uh, battle sequence. So, let's see. Now, you're probably wondering what these things are. In a lot of games, you probably don't realize it, but uh, trees tend to be like weirder shapes when you're just looking at their collision. And I'm, I, I'm kind of imagining that this area is kind of like a, a little courtyard with like gnarled fucking like trees, just like one of them's dead and they're like, you know, there's, they're not living trees or anything like that, but this is just like dirt. And uh, this this place is all like dilapidated and and fucked up and and the first thing you see when you come through here is, is like these trees and and then just right dead center is this uh, 
this, you know, what should probably be some kind of a glowing or interesting object with some kind of uh, luminescence uh, emanating from the from the front end here, and uh, draws should draw you your eye. Uh, now the one thing that kind of bugs me is that I do have a door here, but the door won't open. But there's really no explanation as to why the door isn't opening. Um, for something to feel really polished, I have to I have to have some kind of maybe maybe the symbol that's on fr on the front of the battle sequence is like floating over the door, and that would be a way to indicate to the player that oh hey like yeah um, this is part of that. Okay, so uh, I got all the same guns that I want. All right. So you walk up to it and you begin channeling. And here we go. So the first wave, just a bunch of zombies. And second wave. Oh God, I started reloading. Why did I do that for? Now I should reload. Oh shit. Oh god. <laughs> so you do a couple waves like this. This one can. Alright. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. I have a, a lot of uh, damage resistance right now. Is that stone skin potion I just popped? Okay, so there's a BST. You see that guy there? He's a fast moving hell beast who fires lots of slow moving projectiles that do tons of fucking damage in sort of a shotgun way. Um, I leveled up while I'm in the middle of the fight. He's uh, He is a bit of a bag of health, but he's also really fast moving and uh, just. Yeah, you can't really fuck up too many times when you're fighting him. Yeah. Oh, he killed me right as I fucking... Oh my god, I was about to beat his ass. Oh, man. How did... Uh, alright, alright, I got this. Okay. Damn, you gotta do all that over again. <laughs> You don't lose your uh, potions when you die and stuff. The boosters. Alright. Grab my ammo. See, there's a little bit of replenishment as far as ammo. Uh, there is a certain amount of risk, though, when doing this because you can run into a situation where you might have to go back to a previous area to grind up and get ammo. So you put on a weapon that has like a really, really uh, effective um, ammo consumption rate, like damaged ammo. Um, I might go with the submachine gun over the light machine gun. Wait, uh, what level is this? Yeah, uh, shit. The submachine gun's like level one. Um, I almost had it. Like, I'll go with the combat knife. The level does make a big difference on the gun. Regular leg armor is much better. Alright, so I have a little bit more armor this time around as well. Oh man, I used up my uh, stone skin though. Alright, I got this this time. Let's use the 
shotgun. On. Right. Don't die, don't die. Just regen, regen, regen. Come on, regen. Ah, all right. All right, there's the BST. No, God, why did I reload? Gotta get out of that habit. Jesus, get the fuck away from me. No! Oh god! Okay. Oh shit! Alright, well, this is a little bit like Dark Souls. <laughs> now I'm determined to beat his ass. Alright, I gotta get this I gotta get this right, but I'm completely out of uh light machine gun ammo. Um now I guess I I don't know. Hmm. I want to try and do this all in one take, but I might not be able to. Getting kicked, my ass kicked by my own game. Fucking hell. As a, this will end up being a, a, a fairly long video, though, but... Alright. I'll just stick to the uh, shotgun for most of the fight. By then, I should have a little bit... At least a, a bit for... Uh, dealing with... My lack of uh, light machine gun ammo. So rifle ammo is 97 right now. All right, let's switch to that and just fill it up. All right, so I got I got probably enough ammo. I mean, if I'm going to be using pistol though, that's kind of suck. That's going to kind of be a pain in the ass. But I got a I got a magnum. Uh, that's the other thing too. I haven't added the uh, death penalty. Um, when you die, you drop your, um, recovery, your materials, and your credits, and anything that was in miscellaneous. So, yeah, these, these three will get dropped, and you'll have to go and recollect it. And if you die, if you die a second time, you, it's, it just disappears. So, yeah, the... This this is not going to be a uh, friendly experience um, going with the current plans at the moment. Okay. Come on, pain chance. Alright, I leveled up again. Well, that means these guys are not going to be giving me any XP. Where are they? Okay. All right, big guys coming out. A uh, couple fast zombies. All right, I just gotta, just gotta stay cool. He's he's not that bad. He's like he's like he's kind of like a really fast Baron of Hell. Is kind of what he he 
is like uh, don't fucking die shit I'm reloading it's taking two years okay I got him I fucking got him all right uh let's see damage shotgun level four stone skin potion huh did he drop that uh let's see credits chips oh yeah uh right now I have it set up where you can just like grab the credit chips and stuff but uh I think what I want to do is make it so that in the hub area you take the credits chips and you kind of turn them in and like it there's kind of like a process where it's like they're kind of like loot boxes uh not necessarily loot boxes but like lottery anyway all right so let's see I got a sprinter's helm which increases movement speed um I got a uh Shit, why did I just grab everything so quickly? A light, a damaged lightning gun. An item used to craft a lightning gun. Alright, so this would get me my LG, and that would be in the advanced slot. And I would have to go back to the, I'd have to go back to the home point hub in order to be able to craft that. And then, uh, from there, I would be able to, like, rock a fucking LG, which is a pretty sweet weapon. Um, it does, it is currently hooked up right now, and it's, Really high damage. It uses batteries, though. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, that's what that. Now you have the option to, uh, you know, go back to the home point. And and there it is. Like you could start. You could do the. You could do the fight again and get more loot. Uh, the Hell Beast does give an unusual amount of experience points when you kill him. Although, I'm probably going to go back on that. Notice now that this door opens. This door is now... Uh, from now on, this on this character, this door will always just open up. Because I, I completed that, that one fight. And I guess that's also going to be a big part of like how I do the find key open door gameplay. It's going to be find battle. You're gonna be you're gonna be kind of opening up these like rifts into an alternate evil dimension where there's like lots and lots of bad guys, <clears throat> and that and that's how you open the doors. And that's how you progress forward by sort of like getting those kinds of things. I've gone totally into like a weird mode while playing. <laughs> I'm just like grabbing stuff. I am a vacuum cleaner. Dismantle that magnum. Uh, reinforce gem. So, enduring gems. Enduring um, is a, a crafting ingredient that enhances survivability. A crafting ingredient that enhances toughness. So I have all this stuff. Now I don't want to... I don't want to uh, accidentally get rid of my damaged lightning gun because it'd be really nice. But if I do the fight a second time, I might get a different weapon. And and you can get fully, uh, you can get a you know a standard weapon. So this already has a really good loop to it, where I kind of feel like people who play this are gonna kind of feel compelled to like, okay, well I'm gonna do the fight a couple more times. And see if I get like a rocket launcher or maybe a minigun or something or or maybe I'll get like a cool grenade launcher or something. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna this this video is a lot longer than usual, but it, it it's uh, essentially you just watched me play the very beginning of this uh, game, and I think it really shows what I what I uh, <clears throat> what I'm trying to accomplish here. Uh, and you know this is actually kind of cool because I kind of wish that like I could see people doing this more often where they just fucking make something that shows how they want it to play rather than just be like, oh, pie in the sky, everybody's going to fucking have so much fun and there's going to be like all these like amazing things and, and blah, 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 just blowing smoke up your ass. I'm just showing you what it is. Like, that, this is it right here. <laughs> and then I'm explaining why. 
because I think I think there's a, there's a certain degree of mastery that I think needs to be attributed to uh, game development. It's like it's one thing to come up with like a really cool idea, but implementation of an idea, I think, is a much greater. Like it, you can't just you can't just be like, oh, I have this idea for a thing, and just and just expect people to like. Well, I mean, a lot of people do end up just falling for it, but they're essentially falling for their own idea of what your idea is. Like you try to portray it, and like when I explain to people, I want to have a looter shooter, uh, first-person shooter, like that plays like an arena shooter. <laughs> That's a lot of shooter. Um, like, I'm sure that everybody who heard me say that at one point or another probably thought that I was talking about something completely different. But now you actually get to see what I'm talking about. I mean, and I mean, I mean, this is really just me showing the idea. Like, here it is. That's it. What do you think? And I'd like to know what you think. Anyway, I know this video is really long. I'm going to go ahead and end this right now. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. You know, yada yada. Uh, upvote, upvote me on Steam it. Because, you know, that's badass. <laughs> well, upvote and follow me on Steam it. Alright, uh, thanks for watching.